basically cut off two little pieces of beeswax first. Like that, mm -hmm. just little pieces. And then I take it and stick it right where the two halves of the cane meet. And so I actually got too much, so I'll half it again. And then I'll put some on the other side. And then I basically manipulate it so that it's covering the entire half. Or this, below the middle wire. Correct? Yeah, below the middle wire. And so once it does that, and then I can turn on my soldering iron. This is a portable soldering iron. Yeah, and it um, takes a couple seconds to heat up. But after it does, then I basically just um, melt it a little bit. It's still heating up. You touch, you actually touch yeah, the beeswax. Yeah, you, you, with... you actually touch the beeswax. Okay. And then, it, as you can see, it's starting to melt it a little bit. Some people and also that's... use a candle, correct? Yeah, and that's candle just flame. that's just so I can make the, um, evenly spread the beeswax. Correct, yes, we got that. And so, it's doing it a lot easier on this side because it's more warmed up. Great. So that's how I put it on before. Okay, and let's see now the, the read after it's been wrapped with with string. Okay, so. Now what I usually do is um, cut off strips. So these are gonna be longer than the ones I was using about, they're just, I try to make them thin and long. Okay. So that I can uh, wrap them on the thread and press them on like that. And then after I've pressed an arbitrary amount on, it doesn't really matter how much. Mm -hmm. Then you heat it up. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll melt it. And then as it melts, it gets immediately absorbed by the thread. So you're going to need more wax? Yeah, I'm going to need more wax, but I just do it incrementally. Cause, mm -hmm. uh, but you could also put um, wax on the entire um, mm -hmm. wrap before you melt it all. Okay. So let's do that. And then it, it melts and gets immediately absorbed by the thread. Okay. And it's not creating any smoke this way. 